do you let shame control your life? Because I know from experience that shame was one of the, the biggest controllers of, of my life for the longest time. And once I became aware that shame was the, the biggest limit of, of me being able to do something, everything changed because for example public speaking or even speaking to a camera that was I was so anxious it was the worst thing I could never imagine myself speaking on videos and now like five years later I have no problem at all and and it all comes back to shame of uh, kind of like perfectionism also and that you think that you're not good enough because you see all these Hollywood stars and, and all these really fluid people talking so perfectly and, and you compare yourself to them. But once you become aware of the shame and, and you start doing things anyways, and even if you feel ashamed and, and you put yourself out there, the shame starts to go away. And I remember I've been so ashamed of, of the tone of my voice. Like when I hear myself speaking or, or I listen to myself on an audio, it's in the beginning it was just so weird because it sounded totally different than what I'm used to sounding in my own head. But the reality is that what you hear on, on video or on audio that's what everybody else hears and, and they kind of see the true you all the time and they don't think that you're ashamed when you when you talk to a friend or when you talk to a family member and and you don't feel ashamed so it's this weird illusion and I, I think shame is some kind of uh, it's like protective of, of you and in the modern world, I don't think it's it's necessary anymore to have and to give power to shame. And a lot, I know so many people who who just who don't want to do something because they feel like yeah, but it's it's not who I am, or it's like that that's just stupid. That's against my my values or my beliefs, but these same people are stuck in the same place year after year and for me the one of the the big changes when I started to do stuff was when I became aware of my shames and and uh, one of the biggest one was like this this hair thing I have this condition autoimmune, autoimmune disease called alopecia and and my hair is it, it fell off and and I've made a video I can I can link it here and that that lasted for like 25 years but but that's like that makes me unique and it's actually a a, a pretty cool story like and and I've even like overcome most of it and and started to grow my hair back because there's a lot of I don't know there's trauma issues and, and health issues and, and nutritional issues that you can kind of treat these diseases and, and because it's it's not a natural thing. It's it's like the, the modern disease things are these uh, autoimmune diseases and uh, I believe in a natural way to treating these without any medications or pharmaceuticals because like shitty food and, and, and shitty environments are the, the, the main cause for these, I believe. So, um, shame is something you shouldn't be ashamed of and, and you should just kind of uh, go with what you feel like and, and what you think the world needs and, and what you stand for. So. The point of this video is to not letting shame dictate your life because that's only a limiting belief and, and it's it's your ego and, and subconscious mind try to kind of 
protect you for not feeling bad because shame is a, is a negative feeling you're not you're never going to get rid of the shame by trying to control that it never arise the way you get out of the shame is to do stuff and and kind of show the shame that it's totally fine even if you have these feelings that that are negative you sit with them and and you accept them and it's so weird they start to go away okay let me let me know in the in the comments if if you have a a story of shame that you've overcome and uh, like this video please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one peace out stay cool